Studying population geography is fantastic because you learn about the globe basically, you learn about different countries across the world and it's that that actually gives you different perspectives. You get, um, you get to know what every country is like across the world pretty much. If you choose to study a specific country you can do and it's gaining that global perspective and it's transferring that local to the global, global which is really helpful for, this, for challenges like this and population and geography prepares you really well. Um, you get a demographic perspective, you learn about what makes a population, how it's likely to change in the future, and that's exactly what we were considering in India, and how empowerment is likely to change in the future, and what demographics can help change that, so rational choice theory and things I like think that. A, key, a key concept that I want people to be aware of is that we can't think locally nowadays. We have to think in, in almost a globalising world. We need to actually understand what other people have been through. We can't make any assumptions. We need, to, um, we need to essentially work together to come up with local solutions that can be applied to global problems. So problems that came about in Southampton, that came about in India, that came about in Pakistan, all have the underlying same principles, but we just need to come up with a common solution. Methods of best practice and population and geography, I think, is the most ideal subject you can study to help understand that.